hi there. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm David with Beyond the Blast Doors, uh, as it says on my shirt. And uh, I'm just here to talk about comic books because uh, that's what I really enjoy to do. So uh, what I've got for you today is a pile of books. Uh, this pile of books right here, it's about yay thick. Same thickness if I stand up this way. Uh, but what this is is a pile of books that I've collected from uh, two visits to two different comic book shops. So that's really exciting. I went to my, my usual LCS in St. Louis, uh, the good people there in Maplewood. Uh, but then I also visited a new comic book shop. It's not a new comic book shop. It's actually been around for like 35 years. Uh, but it's my first time visiting there in Davenport, Iowa. And I've got some really cool books there too. So uh, I'm going to share this with you. And uh, I'm just going to start with this guy right here because it's, it's Darth Vader number seven. That's right. Darth Vader number seven. Giuseppe on the art and doing a great job as always. And if you watch uh, Beyond the Blast Doors, our weekly episodes, you know that this is my favorite comic book series out right now. And it's actually my favorite comic book run since uh, Star Wars got bought by Disney. Uh, I'm really just obsessed with this line. And I know it. A lot of people really love that 2015 Darth Vader run. I think this one is better. We're getting that year one Vader, and on this cover you can tell that Vader is going to be interacting with the Inquisitors. That's a class of uh, Jedi Hunter that we've become very familiar with if you watch uh, Star Wars Rebels. Of course, right now we're wrapping up uh, the first half of season four, the final season of Star Wars Rebels. But a really cool cover here. And folks, the art inside, Giuseppe does just as nice a job inside the book as he does on the cover. So really happy to have this book. Uh, great read. Great read. Uh, and of course, visually, uh, I don't know. You have Vader taking on like five, six different Inquisitors. I think that's pretty badass. Uh, let's go to Star Wars number 16. Uh, this, of course, is part of that run that started in 2015. And I picked this up. Uh, the cover is by Care Andrews, and I got a few of, of Andrews' covers. Um, I just really like, uh, I want to say it's kind of goth, um, but it's just a very intense depiction, I think, of Vader uh, from an angle that we're familiar with. A lot of shots of Vader that you see kind of is slightly above looking down, makes that mask look a little bit more menacing. Um, but this almost feels like a cave drawing to me. I mean, something that was maybe drawn on a, the interior of a cave or on a wall somewhere. It seems um, somewhat caveman-like. I don't know if that's a good way of describing it, but that's what registers in my mind when I see this book. So I went ahead and picked this up. You know, it's it's the 1A cover. It's nothing special. Uh, and that's how I feel uh, this book, this next one I'm going to talk about. It, it's Star Wars number 15. And it's 1A cover. It's a uh, reprint is the same thing. The difference, I'll just show you the cover so you can see. It's this gorgeous photo of a mid-aged Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's a Mike Mayhew cover. And the difference between this and the, the reprint is the blue sky that you see here in the background. That's how you know that this is a first print of the 1A cover. The reprint, it's like a dark sky in the background. I am obsessed with this look of Obi-Wan Kenobi. There's actually a hot toy that came out within the last couple of months of like a mid-aged Obi-Wan Kenobi that was just stirring up so much because it didn't just have Obi-Wan's lightsaber hilt. He had Qui-Gon's lightsaber. He had Anakin's lightsaber hilt. Uh, um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I just, anything that I see of Obi-Wan Kenobi in the sands of Tatooine in between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope is really going to excite me. Uh, next, I've got a couple of books here from a series that is loved by fans. It gave us our first depiction of Luke Skywalker post-Return of the Jedi in this new um, Disney canon era, okay? And so this is Shattered Empire. This is number two. Pretty cool cover there. Uh, this is written by Greg Rucca. Uh, art done by uh, Marco Cicchetto. Cicchetto, I should say. And uh, he does the cover. He does the interior art. And uh, a really nice cover. It's very majestic there. Um, I don't want to ruin too much, but like what the series did was like forest trees became canon uh, in Star Wars because of this run. You get to see, like I said, Luke post Return of the Jedi. You get to kind of see what Leia and Han are doing, and like this is like moments. Like in the first book, you see you're like you're on Endor the Death Star explodes. Like, I mean, it's like right after. So um, I think that's pretty cool. So that's two. I've got three right here. And if you look at it, you kind of get a part of like a base in the background. Lando is down there on the cover looking like an absolute stud. Um, 
So uh, I really like that book. Uh, that cover I think is pretty enjoyable. Um, let's see what else do I have. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you this. So the next books that I have here, I'm going to show you like the 1A cover that I was able to find. And then I'll show you the uh, then I'll show you the the variant that I was able to find as well. So this is uh, Mace Windu, number two, cover by Jesus Saez, and uh, I think it's a nice cover. It's it's Mace and it's Kit Fisto, and you get to learn about their relationship in this series. Um, you're getting to learn about um, you're getting to learn about uh, how Mace kind of views the uh, Clone Wars, and it's just starting. And so it's pretty fascinating to see how he and a couple of Jedi react to the news of happening. So that was two. That was two one or two A, I should say. And this is the variant I found. And this is pretty cool. This is a David uh, Nakayama cover, and it kind of reminds me of um, that micro series from like two thousand three. I just love that look of of uh, Mace Windu slicing through some battle droids. And uh, I like how it's kind of animated. You know, the, my big complaint with this comic book miniseries um, has really been that uh, it's a good story. Like, it's well written. Um, you know, the writing on this is really well t well done, you know. Um, but the, the art is just kind of sloppy. If you look in that first issue, if you have a chance, I don't know if you do digital comics or if you actually own, but if you have access to that first issue, like, Yoda looks like a slug and, like, you can tell it's Yoda, but it, it's, like, a really bad Yoda. It's, like, what a – it kind of looks like what a kid – like, if I asked a kid to draw Yoda, that's what it would look like. I'm, I get hung up on this detail, uh, but it's bothersome to me because it's, like, for so long, Mace Windu getting his comic book. Like, why is this so hard? It seems so obvious. Like, a character built around Samuel L. Jackson. He has a purple lightsaber. The guy uses the dark side with his fighting style. Like, how hard is it to create a kick-ass uh, comic with this guy? Finally happened. Writing is great. Art, not so much. But my goodness, if it all looked like this variant cover, this variant cover, I'd be a happy fan. I'd be a very happy fan. Number three picks it up, though. Number three got me back in, on board. And I was in love with First Sight. In love in First Sight. Or in love with First Sight? I was in love with First Sight. There's a cliche there that I'm trying to remember. And I, I, I'm failing to remember it. But nonetheless, we're talking about this comic book. I love that it's Mace reaching out. Uh, he's been beaten. He's on the ground. He's reaching out for his lightsaber. The detail in the hilt, and I'll tilt that up. Hopefully you can see that. You can just see the like the, the writing on his saber, uh, which is really cool. I mean, that, that's how intricate that Jesus got with this cover, and uh, I really enjoy it. The details there inside the book, it's a little bit better. Still not my favorite art, but still a well-told story, so... I have no problem picking it up. And because I like that so much, because I'm back on board, I went ahead and picked up this. You can see this in a museum. This is the variant for number three. Julian Titino Tedesco with this cover art. An airborne Mace Windu leaping down at droids. Take my money. That's what I said to the, to the shop owner. I just said, take my money. This was one of the books that I found uh, at the Davenport shop really excited to pick this thing up uh this is something that you would frame to me to me i would blow this up and hang this up on my wall real big fan if you haven't you know i i know i give it mixed reviews i know it's changed week to week after reading number three if you aren't on the mace windu series right now jump on board doesn't even come close to the success of giuseppe and charles soul on the darth vader run but it, it, it's really picked up. Every issue, it really has gotten better. Take you back. Blast from the past. Star Wars, Darth Vader, number one, the 2015 run. This variant cover, you heard me mention him in uh, another video on this channel. Scotty Young with the drawing on this, with the cover art. Uh, Salvador LaRocca does the interior art. Um, but Scotty Young does this cover art. And I love this animated cartoon parody imagery on this cover. It, it's really exciting. You know, and, you know, Star Wars number one, I, I've mentioned before, it has a ton of variants. Darth Vader number one had quite a few variants as well. Um, I'm really into this one. Uh, and I, I used to not want, I used to not like these, like, what I call parody covers. Um, I want more, like, dramatic or throwback covers. 
Uh, this is something of its own, and I'm really into Scotty Young, and I'm into Scotty Young so much is I'm starting to look for his covers, like see what else he's touched on. Um, I know he's done a lot of stuff with Marvel, and so hopefully I can track down some of his books. Luckily enough, so I got this book, I got that book in Davenport. I got this Darth Vader number one in uh, Davenport, Iowa. I get this Lando number one variant, also drawn, this cover also drawn by Scotty Young. I got that one in my LCS uh, in St. Louis. Charles Soule wrote that Lando miniseries. And again, that miniseries is regarded as maybe the best miniseries that has been released since Disney bought Star Wars. I mean, it is praised by all fans. I mean, listen, you get mixed reviews on the Leia. You get mixed reviews on the Han. You get mixed reviews, well, actually, no. A lot of people hated the Chewbacca one. But this comic right here, this run, this Lando run, always gets rave reviews. And if you check out my previous video, I did a video, I called it uh, Massive Star Wars Haul. Uh, it's, you know, I only have like three or four hauls right now on the channel, so it'll be easy to find. Uh, but go check that out, because I actually was able to find uh, two or three different Lando comics uh, in a recent haul from my St. Louis shop over the Halloween weekend. And my goodness i mean these covers were so legit especially the one where it's like lando's mugshot but it's you know star wars so it's like a space mugshot so sweet so sweet check that out big fan of this comic i'm a big fan of picking up this cover cover and um especially now i have a new artist that i want to track scotty young and that's how i found out about this guy is because i was just looking through comics through through a long box in my lcs i think that's a great way to find out about someone's work uh this is the last book for this video and it's Star Wars number 34, the Hoth variant, uh, the Han Hoth variant. These covers are hot, man. John Tyler Christopher pumps these out. Now, I, I read that he is not going to be able to have one uh, for Star Wars 40 that's due out soon. But pretty much every Star Wars book has gotten a figure variant. And these action figure covers are done by John Tyler Christopher. Um, I know that I found a Mace Windu exclusive, like only 3,000 copies were made of this Mace Windu for Mace Windu number one. I bought it, Christopher. It was a John Tyler Christopher cover. Um, I really love the way this looks. I'm not an actual fan of the action figure. I'm always more of a sucker for over here. Um, I think those always look really sharp. Um, because it's not like a, it, it's not like the cover. He drew this just as much as he drew this, and uh, so I, I appreciate it for that. But you know what? There's so many of them, and uh, there's actually a guy on a YouTube right now. And I'm I'm blanking on his name. He actually and I uh, he and I just actually met up uh, through Facebook. He's got every single John Tyler Christopher cover, every one. That's insane, and some of those covers go for like. 20 bucks plus so like for me um i'm i'm gonna hold on to these variants you know these were books that i really enjoyed and uh you know try and complete the collection um but you know if someone you know back in 2015 those people who went all in on these action book covers uh it's paying off now if they're trying to flip those um but this one's mine i i looked all over for this hot this han hoth variant I'm glad I found it. So that's uh, that's it. That's the whole pile of books. We went through them all together. That was a lot of fun. Did you have a favorite book that I showed off in this video? If you can, go ahead and comment down below if you haven't already and tell me which books you like, which books maybe you didn't like. Um, is there a book that you'd like to learn more about? You know, I, I know a fair amount about Star Wars. Uh, there's a few things that I consider myself very knowledgeable about, and one of those things is Star Wars. So if you have any questions on these books or maybe a book in a different hall, uh, be sure you comment down below and you let me know. If you haven't already, do me a favor. Give a like to this video, a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like Star Wars, this is the channel for you. You know, we're an up-and-coming Star Wars show. We've got a lot of passion, and we've invested a lot of energy uh, into making the show the best that we can on the limited budget that we have right now. So it's me and three other guys. We do this in our spare time. Uh, we 
do have professional lighting, though. We just revamped our studio setup, so we're really excited. We're going to have a new episode out soon, episode 21. Uh, by the time you see this video, episode 21, there's uh, probably going to be a day away from coming out. So we have new episodes every Monday, so please check those out. I'd say if you're on our channel, 95%, 90% of it is all Star Wars. And then you have this one playlist where the guys let me post all my comic book hauls because the comic book community on YouTube has been so good to us that we thought this would be a really cool way to kind of pay it forward, to reinvest. And so I'm just going to ask that if you like what I'm doing here, if you like the fact that I'm showing off comic books that I find um, and, and you like that I'm sharing this passion and it's a passion of yours, tell me that in the comments below. I want to keep doing this, but if people are annoyed with me posting about comic books, I guess I can stop, but it's a passion of mine. What I would love is that you like it so much that we feel like we need to go make another channel where it's just my comic books talk. Um, because when I get going on comic books, I can get a little overwhelming. I, I get really nostalgic. I get really sentimental about my comic books. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope you had fun. I've really enjoyed the time we've shared. Do me also another favor. Check out the other videos on this channel. Uh, in like a couple of seconds, there's going to be a video here and here. And I just somewhere like here, like where my hands are, there's going to be video videos that pop up in like 17 seconds. So check those out. Share them with anyone you know who likes Star Wars. And uh, I have no problem saying this. I'll see you soon. <laughs>